You're going to see how if I flip this play, we're going to have the exact same effect, only it's a lot glitchier now because I'm running to the short side. It's like they didn't program how to work it on the short side. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new video for you guys today. There was a patch update, a pretty significant patch update regarding uh, Cover 3 Zones. This is something that a lot of people have been waiting on. I mean, a lot of patch updates came out that didn't really address the faulty coverages, uh, especially Cover 3, which I think is necessarily supposed to be one of the better deep coverages, but really hasn't had a ton of success, in my opinion. So they put out a patch. They addressed five things, and I don't typically do a patch update video unless it's something that specifically my trend, my channel typically addresses things like gameplay uh, or you know coverage beaters which obviously this addresses pretty heavily so I'm gonna do a update video I'm gonna show you guys what they patched then I'm gonna show you guys how you can still beat the new patch cover three defenses whether you play old console or new consoles uh, current gen or next gen whatever you call it I'm gonna show you guys how to beat cover three in both of them and I'm also gonna go over each individual patch that they uh, addressed and show you guys how to beat that Woo! so if you guys want to see more videos videos like that do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section now all the plays i'm going to show you guys today come out of my raiders ebook which i just put out i feel like a couple of my specific favorite plays got addressed uh, which is a perfect opportunity for me to tell you guys that if you ever purchase one of my ebooks, uh, whether it's on my website or on my Patreon or whatever, number one, I always post the updated versions on my Patreon, but if you bought one from my website, I update these throughout the year. All you have to do is email me, all my information is on the website, email me with a proof of purchase and I will send you an updated version once it's done. I mean, this patch just came out, but I will send you an updated version. Uh, you know, I'll just reply back to that email with an updated version of the book that you bought. So at any point in time you bought, buy an ebook from me, you're, you get updates for free throughout the entire year. So that's something to mention. I also wanna mention for people that have uh, been asking for more stuff from current gen, I will be updating my ebooks with specific current gen uh, portions and links. So I will have a bunch of cover three one play touchdowns that I'm also gonna go over later in this video as well, but they'll all be in my ebooks as well. So you have links for current gen and links for next gen. For people asking me what my ebooks are for, they're for both. Now starting off I do want to show that one of the major formations that I was using a lot I had a gameplay video planned out from this four verticals play and from this mesh spot play they really attacked this during the patch I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys these two specific plays uh, this is one of my favorite plays this is one of the biggest patches that I've noticed if you watch that video and it's a pretty popular video this is one of the biggest patches that I've noticed that does not work anymore and that's that these outside cornerbacks and this is basically what they're talking about a lot when I when I read what they what they addressed it says that they tuned outside cover three deep zones for giving from giving up too much space against corner routes with no other vertical receiving threat in the area now there's no corner route on this play so they didn't even mention this portion of the patch. This is something that's not even mentioned, uh, where essentially it's, it's how it's reacting to the wheel route. It's not the, there's no corner route here. So that play and the four verticals play, which are pretty much the only plays that I really noticed got affected in my Raiders ebook. These plays don't work anymore. And that's a shame. I mean, it, because these plays were just so glitchy. I was using, I was, I had a gameplay plan where I was just scoring every other play with this particular series of plays. So I guess it's for the best, but these are two plays that don't work anymore. And they, I, like I said, I noticed that they did not mention how they tuned these cover threes to react to wheel routes. Because if I go to another series of plays from my ebook, uh, the wing flex close, a very similar play, the four verticals, once again, out of the single back wing flex close, uh, this play does not have that same effect. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing where I basically just, I mean, here I'm gonna motion the guy out just to create a little bit of space. But this is another play, it's the exact same concept really because these outside guys are on wheel routes. Although there, man, that guy was just hunting me down. You can see it still has effect, even though if, I mean, if I had Henry Ruggs there, it would have been even easier. If I didn't have a guy in my face and I didn't have, um, you know, uh, if I had a faster receiver there. If I had Henry Ruggs running that B route, very easy one play touchdown against cover three. So they simply just patched that particular play, not necessarily the concept itself, like I'm gonna go over some of the concepts in a minute. 
If you guys want to see a full breakdown of this particular offense, I already have it recorded, uh, and I plan on putting it out. So hit the like button, let me know in the comment section whether you guys want to see this. I can put this out as soon as Saturday if you guys want to see some really good post-patch passing plays from this formation. So that's a play and a concept that still works. Cover three still are pretty bad at uh, reacting to wheel routes on the outside. You can still use that. But let's go over the specific concepts that they address. Number one is bunch concepts. I guess that they realize that gun bunch concepts are the meta and they really wanted to attach that gun bunch concept similar to let's use the bunch trail because this has two routes that they refer to in the patch they refer to um, how they basically tuned outside cover three deep zones to better anticipate threats coming from across the field which this has on this play and they also mentioned how they tuned outside cover three deep routes giving up too much space against corner routes which i already kind of mentioned they also mentioned tuned uh cover three deep zones to verse bunch flood concepts which like i said this really is going to address all that so this will probably be the last play i show the bunch trail here is a play it's the last play i'm going to show next gen like i said i'm going to show some current gen stuff next but that's going to be one of the biggest offenders that they tried to address so number one whenever you were to run you know these type of bunch concepts typically the me the meta was to run it from the hash mark to the open side of the field so this would pretty much be the look all we have to do is put the b route here on a streak and you're going to see how typically this would be a very easy one play touchdown but now the cornerback follows back i still got henry rugg so you can see it's still in play but just the fact that the cornerback closed it made that uh hard to catch we're going to do that one more time like i said i should be blocking my running back but uh, you can see i mean the, the cornerback's still out there where pre-patch cornerback wouldn't be there it would be gone so that's something that they address but there's a very easy way to address this and that's all you have to do is run it to the short side of the field or i'll leave it where i'm at and just flip the play it's really that simple the only thing that they addressed was how you or was running it to the open side of the field they address how the cornerbacks react on the open side of the field so blocking my running back this time because i want to give myself some time but you're going to see how if i flip this play we're going to have the exact same effect only it's a lot glitchier now because i'm running to the short side it's like they didn't program how to work it on the short side as you can see we get a very easy one play touchdown to, to my much slower receiver but what's more what's even more depressing is how this cornerback reacts i'll go ahead and i'll highlight him because just like the previous play you think he's going to follow back you think he's going to play over the top and then for whatever reason he just completely dumbs out and goes to the underneath receiver who sure he's not covered for the most part but i think this is a much bigger issue is the fact that this guy now has 10 yards of separation so another issue was crossing receivers which i could have did out of the bunch trail um, but what I'm going to use is another play that I put out already, uh, which is going to be out of the tight Y off. Uh, and the play itself, which, like I said, luckily this was not addressed in the patch, at least not mu by much. And the play itself is the PA post dig. I'll have a link in the description for the full breakdown of this offense. Although I think I have to still put out the full breakdown of the offense. I think that's really only two plays. Hit the like button if you guys want to see a full breakdown. But the PA post dig is going to be uh, still a very successful cover three one play touchdown. So all you really have to do on a play like this, I mean, I could just block my tight end and run like this. And I'm going to have success, uh, which is something that they make it sound like they address. Although you can see right there, that cornerback definitely shoots in. But since I have Henry Ruggs, it's a little bit easier. It's kind of weird though. Let's watch that. Uh, let's watch that replay because you can see this guy. I mean, they definitely tune this guy's awareness up because I'm just going to run this at regular speed. You can see he just shoots right inside, which is not something he typically does to take away that uh, receiver. But like I said, there's still plenty of ways to make this play work. And that includes the original setup that I put out where typically this guy would just run straight back. You can see he gets like a speed boost and gets to the inside and cuts that off. So that's basically what they mean when they say tuning. They basically just put these outside thirds on steroids. The best way to handle this is just basically rolling in the direction of the throw because typically outside corner quarterbacks still react to quarterbacks in their area so let's go ahead and let's do that like i said i'll just roll in the direction i don't have to do that but you can see he doesn't fully commit based off the fact that i'm rolling in the direction of the throw which is something i always recommend doing regardless of whatever coverage beater you use but you can see now he doesn't get that uh that steroid boost or at least he reacts to the quarterback once again. As you can see right here, he still has to hesitate because of the threat of the running quarterback. And you can see, you can pretty much time it with me rolling out. Once I get past to a certain point and go to throw the ball, he slows down. So he can't react like that, that you know, steroid boost he's getting if I roll in the direction of the throw, which is one way to do it. I find you can still have a lot of success just by smart routing this receiver as well. At about 10 yards, you can see I shortened the, uh, from there it goes to about almost 15, maybe 18 yards. If I smart route them at about 10 yards, I find that this um, has a lot of success. 
Uh, but we'll still try to roll out in the direction of that throw anyway. Uh, as you can see, I mean, he's still really gone. You know, I mean, it's, there's still a lot of success to be had here with this particular plate. You know, maybe it's a little bit harder to time it. Maybe it's a little bit more precise because of the smart route. But there's still a lot of ways to make this uh, play work exactly the same. I also find a lot of success just basically running this to the short side of the field once again. We're going to do the exact same thing. Smart routing. I'll give the uh, the X route there. I'll just put him on a 10-yard out route. Just something to try to hold that cornerback. Although, realistically, it doesn't matter. I can put him on a drag. The same setup as before. And you're going to see how that guy once again doesn't necessarily react we're having uh, even more success running to the short side of the field so the biggest issue with this patch might just be that it went from running from the open side of the or the, the hash mark to the open side of the field to the hash mark to the short side of the field and a lot of the same plays work exactly the same way now it also says they addressed it on current gen consoles or old gen consoles i don't really believe that maybe they did um but if they did i mean number one there wasn't a lot of stuff that hit a one play touchdown against cover three in current gen anyway but even if they did um i just put out a video explaining how to hit a one play touchdown against uh cover three i'll have a link in the description if you guys didn't catch that uh but that ultimately wasn't 100 percent accurate anyway i'm going to show you guys how to hit a one play touchdown against cover three uh in current gen post patch which is probably even more important so we're going to pick the exact same formation the exact same plays we're going to go ahead we're just going to go with uh, the iphone close or we'll go with the strong close we'll switch it up a little bit yesterday we did iphone close so we're going to go with the pa deep cross so going back to current gen cover three, all I really have to do is put the X route on a streak or a fade. I find it's best to put them on a streak. Uh, and then ultimately, once again, going back to the old method, running it from the hash mark to the open side of the field, that's all I really gotta do. And I'll just have to basically buy time in the pocket until my receiver here crosses uh, 30 to 35 yards or somewhere in that range. I've had success doing it, um, you know, 33 yards, 32 yards. So it's not like a flat 35. But if you try to pass Lee before he gets to a certain point, it won't have success. So I got—I typically find it's like right around this range here, um, which you can see the ball still in my hand. I mean, it, it can't leave the quarterback's hand until the receiver crosses a certain distance. And I think it's—I want to say it's like 31 plus, but I really don't know the exact number. So it's a good—it's a good range between 33 and 35 yards or deeper. And you can see I can—I can pass lead outside, which typically you can't do now the other important part of this factor here is once again just like in the previous uh current or next gen that i showed at some point this cornerback will stop and react to a different receiver which in this particular scenario is the crossing receiver so that's why this play works i put this out last year they haven't passed it since i called it the db freeze glitch back then uh, and it's still the exact same method so just to do it one more time just to show you guys and i'm sure you're aware of this if you're playing current gen if you pass lead too early, there's no such thing as a pass lead. You have to wait until that receiver crosses a certain threshold. I hear that if you do it within 20 yards, it works as well, as you can see right there. If you throw it too early, it'll work. But obviously, for whatever reason, they blocked out the range between 20 to 30 yards. I'm not really sure why, other than the fact that maybe this was the way that they tried to address this series of plays that I put out last year. That makes the most sense to me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there, though. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, more offensive play videos like this, uh, you know, when the updates come out, let me know in the comment section, hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man, much it out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.